Hi kids on, I hope you're doing great. My name is Fernanda and today we are talking about Good Friday. So why do we call today Good Friday? Is it because it's the Friday before Easter and we have lots of chocolates and it's very exciting? Is that because it's a holiday and our parents are at home and then we have a Good Friday to spend with them in the garden because it's the spring and we can have fun in the park? Well, it all seems good, but we call today Good Friday because it's the day that Jesus stepped into our place and died in the cross for all the things that we have done wrong. So what did we do wrong? What happened? Why Jesus needed to die for me? Well, do you remember when Adam and Eve, when God said to them to do not eat of the fruit of uh, the tree of knowledge of good and of good and evil because if they eat of this they would die well when they chose to eat of this fruit they chose on behalf of all the human beings that were coming after them death instead of life and God's life God is eternal life God is life forever so how could we be connected with God if we chose death instead of life? That's difficult, isn't it? It's broken. How could we fix it? Let's try to explain it another way. So, before we are born, we are like small seeds inside of our mom's belly, yeah? And to receive all the nutrients that we need, all the food to grow, and be born in this life like a baby, we needed to be connected by a cord and we receive all the nutrients, all the, fru the food by this cord. If this cord is broken, it means we will not receive what we need and we die. We will not be born. So it's the same with God. We were connected with God by a cord like that and this cord is broken. But the thing is, God loved us so much that He made a plan to fix it. He didn't want us to be separated from Him, but He needed someone that was perfect, that you know. So He had one idea, and it would be very difficult, but He sent His only Son to come and fix it. Um, to do that, Jesus needed to die on the cross. He was humiliated, he was bullied, you know, it was really, really, really sad. But he knew that was the only way that he could fix it. Because we should go through that because we chose death. We chose the wrong thing, you know, because of Adam and Eve. But Jesus decided, no, I'm going to take their place because I wanted to be connected with them again. And do you know why he did that? Why he chose to fix this cord and give us life again? Because he thought you were worth it. Because he loves you so much. And it's because of that we call today Good Friday. Do you know what I just said? That when we are born, something is broken inside of us? Well, when we grow, if we don't fix it, we will always feel that something's missing. You can build houses, have a nice family, full of friends. You can travel all around the world, you know, have lots of money. But none of these things will fix it. The only way to fix it is through Jesus and what he did in the cross. If you want to have a relationship with God, it's very simple. You just need to do a small prayer. Would you like to pray with me? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I'm sorry for the choice that Adam and Eve did and for the choice I have done wrong that have separated me from you. I don't want to be separated from you. I want to fix it. Thank you for what you have done in the cross. I want to be connected with you again. Amen. Well, it was really good to be with you, to talk with you today. 
I hope you have a lovely weekend, a lovely Friday. And be careful, do not eat lots of chocolate. Do you know? I have mine. And remember, on the third day, he was resurrected. Jesus didn't stay died, he's alive. And because of that, we can have life again. Have a good Friday. Bye.